G'day, neighbours. You're cordially invited to attend the grand opening of the Outback Fitness Club. Get energised and get healthy. A world of fitness awaits you. And it's free, completely free, for your first visit. Your father and I are going to the fitness club. You want to come along? Me? A vampire? Going to a fitness club? Sorry, Mom, I don't think so. It's a grand opening. That means helium balloons, cotton candy, ice cream, and entertainment. When do we leave? You're going to enjoy getting into shape. No more couch potatoes. Your future is fitness, fitness, fitness. A little time and a little attention to the six-hour-a-day exercise program and you'll look like this. Oh, wow. Welcome to the grand opening. Our doors are open for business. Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to get in on this. some cartilage. Hey, mister, where's the helium balloons? This is a grand opening, isn't it? Call me Bruce. And sorry, no helium balloons here, mate. They're not ergonomically correct. The cotton candy tastes funny. Pretty good, eh? It's made out of bean sprouts. Sugar-free. Down under on the farm, it's all we ate. My milkshake tastes, um, strange. That's not a milkshake, it's a tofu shake. Be sure to eat the lumps. <coughs> and in this room we have our mud bath, complete with genuine Australian mud, all the way from Australia. Wow, cool. Neat. Oh, those creatures are nothing compared to the Billabong Bunyip. A Dilladong? A who? A what yip? The Bunyip is a hairy, snaky necked creature with big, oversized kangaroo feet. It creeps out of the Billabongs, the Australian mud pits, to feed on the energy of unsuspecting people. And while it feeds, it makes an evil. Whoa! Sort of like a vampire! Follow me, I'll show you. Here it is. Whoa, cool. Neat. Nice talking to you, mates. I gotta go see my clientele. Even if water does flush backwards in Australia, remind me not to go there where the bunyips are on the loose. going back in that fitness club. Hey, look, it's Principal Shobley. Is he ever walking funny? <coughs> Good, Good afternoon, afternoon Principal Shobley. <coughs> he looks like a sleeping zombie. <coughs> Gee, Fang, Principal Shobley looked awful. But why? He's supposed to be getting healthy. Oh, oh, boy. So sore. Mom, Dad, what's wrong? The Fitness Club. Six-hour workout. No energy. No energy! That's it! Came as fast as we could, but why do we need our gym bags? We're going to get junior memberships at the Fitness Club. The fitness club? <laughs> yep, the bunyip's sucking the energy out of whoever goes into the fitness club. Something has to be done. So, the idea is 
to eat as unhealthy as possible. To keep the bunyip from sucking our energy out of us? If the bunyip attacks us when we're full of unhealthy energy, it'll get sick. So I'm eating the super combo of french fries and gravy with cheese and hot dogs mixed in. And ketchup. I'm not taking any chances. Uh, with bunyips, you can never be too careful. I don't feel so good. That's exactly how you want to feel when you're going to fight a bunyip. Come on. According to my calculations, the bunyip came all the way from Australia, trapped in Bruce's mud, and... this didgeridoo. It's a musical instrument from Australia. Listen. Sounds great. Uh, you should think about going professional. Professional, eh? I am actually very good. from the junk food, it'll get weak, and we'll easily be able to beat him. Good day, Charlie. <laughs> it is a good day. This is the best energy I've ever gotten. Mona, I'm getting weak. Uh-oh, miscalculation. Plan A isn't working. The junk food energy seems to be making it stronger. Quick, Lily, plan B. Come on! Yoo-hoo! Bunyip! Here, boy! Come here, Bunyip! I don't want to do this. Mona! Help! Nothing can stop me! Not even you, vampire! After I get your energy, I'll have enough to go all the way back to Australia! No! Bunyip, there's another way! There's only one way! My way! The Bunyip way! energy out of your own mirror reflection. Help me! Not until you give everyone their energy back. Okay, okay. Given 
everyone back their energy. Sia was just confused. The bunyip accidentally came from Australia with Bruce. It was homesick. So it just wanted energy to go back to Australia. Back to its billabong. G'day, kids. Just stopped to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm going back to Australia to join a didgeridoo orchestra. You were right, Mona. I should have thought of going professional years ago. Hang on, you forgot something. There, you're ready to go. Alright. G'day then. He was pretty nice for a creature that mercilessly sucked the energy out of people. <laughs> report is on Les Miserables, an unfair treatment of the upper class, that's me, back when being poor was fashionable. Ah! I won't work in these conditions. They're little angels, you'll see. Children, I'd like to introduce your substitute teacher. He's visiting us from far away, and he'll be filling in for Miss Gotto, who's homesick. Greetings, pupils. My name is Zork. <clears throat> I mean to say, Monday. Mr. Monday from Esgobavar. Yes, that is suitable. Oh, oh my ears! Stop rubbing the chocolate oh, against the board! Here is your home assignment to be reported tomorrow. The pupils who excel will be selected for uh, awards. Yes, to improve performance. That is good, yes. Where's Esgabavar? Please, the one who is Mona will refrain from speaking during class, yes? How could he hear you? Never mind that. How does he know my name? Listen to this. If Quark A leaves Alpha Centauri traveling at the speed of light, and Quark B leaves Alpha Andromeda, oh, I give up! Maybe it's one of those trick questions. You know, like a pound of lead and a pound of feathers? All the questions are like that. You'd have to be a genius to get this right. Exactly. And what would a grade school substitute want with a genius? Maybe something got lost in the translation from Escobavarian. Do they even use metric over there? I'm gonna fail. St. Faith's first annual achievement awards. That's tonight. Mr. Monday sure works fast. He's putting on a ceremony? I was expecting little star stickers or something. Ugh. I'm sorry, Mr. Monday. The one who is Lily is mistaken, yes? I am Mr. Tuesday. He knew your name too? How did they do that? Lawrence, what happened to Mr. Rasmussen, the new music teacher? He's homesick. Suddenly came down with the flu. Just like that, huh? That's two sick teachers in two days. I am displeased with performance. Aww. Aww. An F? I've never had anything less than an A. You have all failed the experiment, except for the one who is Angela. She will report to the counselor for the award ceremony, yes? Finally, my genius is recognized. Guess who's been paying someone else to do her homework again? The one who is Mona will do no more speaking. There is much preparation before the harvest. I mean to say, the award ceremony. <gasps> ah! The one who is Mona is troubled? No, I mean, yes. I need to go to the restroom, right now, all three of us. What's going on? I went already. We better get back, Mona. We'll get detention. I did not imagine that third eye. If you won't believe me, then maybe Miss Gatto will. Why isn't she home? She's supposed to have the flu. She's probably sleeping. We better go. Hey, this looks like one of Mr. Monday's boxes. He was here before us, and I'm sure he wasn't bringing Miss Gatto chicken soup. We better get back. I don't understand. Even if there was a conspiracy, what did the substitutes want? I don't know yet, 
but I'm sure the answer will leap out eventually. <laughs> Bow down, losers. You're looking at the school's top athlete. Top bully is more like it. Says you. The substitute gym teacher and the counselor called me an outstanding specimen. Whatever that means. I'll even get a medal at the awards tonight. Substitute? What did he look like? See for yourself, loser. Hey! They've even replaced the gym teacher and the school counselor. I can barely tell them apart. Something big is going down at the awards ceremony, and we can't let them know that we're on to them. It may be too late. Sorry I'm late. Look what I found in Mr. Monday's desk. What kind of language is that? I don't know, but we're definitely talking different species here. And I swiped their candies, too. They're orangey. Like the vitamin C that my mom gives me. Vitamin C, huh? Really? It, give me one. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Principal Shobley has to believe us now. This is almost too easy. Ah, there you are. Oh, no, I'm disappointed in you. But... I'm afraid this calls for a detention. The one who is Mr. Tuesday and I have consulted Mr. Wednesday and Mr. Thursday. We would like to award the pupils... Awards? ...for outstanding uh, meddling. It is better, yes? Well, uh, the awards are your pet project. Yes, little pets. We do as things are where we come from. It is suitable, yes. Oh, where did the substitutes go? They're probably waiting for the camera crews. I've taken acting courses, you know. This could be my big break. Achoo! Oh, great. Now I've got a cold for sure. Hey, guys, how about we get out of here? And let them get away with it? Get away with what? We don't know what all this means. Exactly, and I intend to find out. I'm just not sure where to start. Hey, listen. There's a weird sound coming from down there. This is as good a place as any. Give my regards to the Drab Four. Wait, me first. Good, leave. There's no room for underachievers here. Do you see anything? It's dark. Hey, stop pushing. Ah! This must be the school basement. Listen, it's that humming. Guys? Whoa, a spaceship. The substitutes are extraterrestrials. And by the looks of it, they're getting ready to leave. There's a door here. Maybe it opens from the inside. I don't think it's a good idea to break into an alien spaceship. Let's just leave. The dust is making my cold worse. Achoo! It's not breaking in, if it's already open. Oh, I should have asked for an attention instead. This is all the proof we'll ever need. Look at this stuff. But why are they here? It doesn't make sense. On the contrary, it makes perfect sense now. The award ceremony! They're not handing out trophies. They want to take the kids back to their planet. You mean like collecting stamps? Exactly! A specimen for each category. We have to warn Principal Shobley. We, we wouldn't have advised that. that! We have special seats for the ones who are Mona, Lily, and Charlie. Well, you beat us fair and square. We promise not to resist. Much! <laughs> there is no need for the vacuum cleaner. Housework will come later. You're stirring up dust. Ah! Your hand before your mouth, please! Is this what you're looking for? Return the immunization at once! There must be a reverse switch on this thing. What? Charlie, do your worst! Achoo! 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 
was canceled, and that is how I was robbed of my claim to fame. Oh, well, Bowie! <laughs> when Lily mentioned vitamin C, I realized that the candy was their only defense against the common cold. Charlie did all the work after that. Do you think they'll ever come back? On a planet where every kid is a walking Petri dish? I doubt it. Quiet down! I've had to cut my convalescence short since you little monsters seem to have chased all the substitutes away. Attention, students. The drama club's production of Macbeth in Space has been cancelled due to the disappearance of the prop flying saucer. Thank you. I'm so glad you're back, Miss Gatto. That substitute teacher was simply horrible. I thought he was rather nice. He came to the house to borrow the course outline and he offered me a ride to my sister's so I could rest for a few days. <laughs> they were space aliens. They were no such thing. The poor fellows were from a far off country and evidently had a difficult time adjusting to our very different culture. Well, let's pick up from where we left off last week. She really doesn't remember. The aliens must have zapped the teacher's memories. But they always leave evidence behind. It'll turn up when we least expect it. Slimy. Now we can review some of our past victories. <gasps> Whoa, the spirits are really restless. Uh, maybe today is not a good idea. Mona, Mona, we have a visitor. Be down in a second, Mom. I'll be right back. I tell you, my granddaughter's more fun than my latest video game system, and a lot less complicated. I can't believe how cute she is. No. What's wrong? Monster babies are back. But this time it's a girl. What do you mean? Charlie, don't tell me you've forgotten our battle with my Aunt Pat's terrible toddler, Melvin the Monster. No! How about a game of Space Blasters? No! Spaceball? No! Super Ghouls trading cards? No! <laughs> How could I forget? Lily, you're lucky you weren't with us that day. He put the rat in Brat. Mona, we're waiting. I gotta get this new monster baby out of the house. Rescue me if I'm not back in one minute. Okay, but just be careful. Remember, the younger the monster baby, the stronger the powers. Ooh, look at that. Goo goo ga ga. Mona, you had a cutie woody outfit like baby Bertha's when you were just a little baby. Can I hold her? 
I can't believe how cute she is. Mona's been down there way too long. Unhand Mona the Vampire! You monster baby! Relax, guys. It's okay. <laughs> This is the kind of wacky fun you can expect when baby Bertha grows up. This baby's no monster. She's adorable. Hey, Bernice, why don't we take baby Bertha for a walk in the park to give you and your mom some time together? Great! Bernice can help me sort out which of my pickled beets have gone bad in the basement. Who's a little angel? You are. Yes, you are. Oh, look, she winked at me. All I had to do was twist my face. She's so cute. I guess that goes to show that not all babies are monsters. I don't know, Mona. She's more like creepy cute. Yeah, just look at how everyone is acting like a baby around her. It's too weird. <laughs> You're right. Okay? What's the big rush? Oh, oh, nothing. I, I, I thought. I mean, I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Baby Bertha isn't a monster baby. She's a baby charmer. What exactly is a baby charmer? The most deceptive of paranormal babies. They're like regular babies, except they have a special power of charming others to become like them. Why would they do that? To get the one thing all babies crave. The company of other babies. Luckily, each baby charmer has a weakness that can break its powers forever. We just have to find out what her weakness is. Shh! The baby charmer! <laughs> <laughs> parents into babies again. We gotta do something fast. <laughs> Mona, you need to be careful playing with little babies. But Dad, she You could have poked her eye out. But Mom... No buts. Babies are delicate little creatures. More like creepy baby charmer creatures. This baby charmer is so powerfully cute, it's gonna take all three of us to defeat it. Meow! Oh, sorry, Fang. All four of us. The baby charmer's on the move! with two overgrown babies. Baby 
I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe how clumsy that was of me. That's it. We can break the baby charmer's spell by surrounding her with real babies. But how? We've only seen one other real baby here. You're right. Hmm. Hey, Zap Man. You sure look cute in pink. What? This better work. <laughs> I think it's working. Ow! <laughs> Retreat! <laughs> that really hurt! Who do we have here? The nursery triplets. Here, hold this while I visit the House of Mirrors. I'd ask you to come, but it's probably too scary. <laughs> I told you pink's not my color. Don't worry. The baby charmer hasn't defeated us yet. In fact, Angela just gave us the answer. <laughs> Look! A big teddy bear and an empty box. <laughs> I think I was sand in my shoes. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> Sorry, baby Bertha, but we can't afford to have a baby charmer in our town. Have fun with all these real babies. Whoa! Oh. Ow! <laughs> the baby charmer's leaving a trail of its essence. And it sure is powerful. Someone needs your mommy. Thank you so much for finding my little baby. It's Mona who deserves the credit. How can I repay you? Phew. Changing her diaper would be a start. <laughs> I bet Mrs. Brierson's daughter won't let her baby out of her sight for quite a while. Oh, I'm sure the baby charmer, I mean, baby Bertha, will be fine from now on. As long as you stop eating her food. Oh, I couldn't resist testing it. You know, carrots and cabbage actually taste good together. Yeah, right, Dad. I'm just glad you're no longer babies. I really prefer you as my parents. garbage with you, please. But what about the garbage strike? Mayor Rosenbaum promised the strike would be over for today's garbage pickup. That's what he said last week, and the week before, and the week before that. No wonder Dad's going fishing this weekend. Our street stinks more than fish. <coughs> Why do we always buy the cheap bags? Thing. Looks like garbage creatures might be among us. Now, who can define recycling for the class? Mona? Recycling is when you use old stuff to make new stuff. Why bother making new stuff out of old stuff when you can just go out and buy more new stuff? <sighs> here's the map of the town, and here's the dump. If the town dump keeps growing at its current pace, it will eventually take over half the town. With the garbage strike, the town is already half covered in garbage. And that's why our school is now a designated recycling zone. From now on, I want everyone to get with the program. I'll use papers to be recycled and juice containers and bottles. These green boxes will be placed throughout the school. Uh, 
what if you think recycling is boring? Anyone caught not recycling will be on garbage pickup duty. And with garbage everywhere in town, there's a lot to pick up. <sighs> Nothing in this town is safe with this garbage everywhere. You're telling me. That garbage creature grabbed your scooter. Just like a garbage creature that attacked Fang this morning. Really? Fang was attacked? You didn't say anything. I didn't want to alarm anybody. That's the craziest story I've heard all week. The garbage was obviously piled up precariously and fell on my scooter and almost fell on your cat. Hey, where'd my helmet go? Mona, did you see my lucky fishing hat? Oh, yeah. I think it's in... I unlocked my door and turned to see Blitzy was gone. And so was my shopping basket. Uh, the garbage probably fell over. Uh, here's Blitzy. But I don't see your shopping basket. One of the garbage creatures probably got it. Oh, dear. Garbage creatures? In our town? And they'll consume anything. Anything. Anything? Looks like the town's in trouble. And it's our job to save it again. Not only do we have to save the town from garbage creatures, but if I don't find my dad's fishing hat, I'm in serious trouble. Hey, that's squeaking. It's got to be Junkyard Joe. Junkyard Joe, can we talk to you? Sorry, kids. Busy, busy. With this garbage strike, I got a lot of picking to do. Junkyard Joe is acting a little strange. I think we better pay him a visit. Not as much garbage here as before, like when I found that cool wooden ironing board and that broken radio. Now that was garbage. With the garbage collectors on strike, most of the garbage is on the streets. What's he doing? That's Mrs. Bryerson's grocery cart. An officer house helmet. My creation is almost perfect. Wow, the garbage queen. She's magnificent. She doesn't seem too happy to see us here. Get out of here! I better cover you up, my treasure. Don't want you getting rusty. I hope we didn't get it mad. Things could get worse. Did you see it eat that TV? What a beast! I think Junkyard Joe is under the power of the Garbage Queen. And those garbage creatures, too! Mona, I'm off to the emergency town council meeting. Can we go too? You're the mayor. You should fix the situation. I heard there were garbage creatures that will consume anything, even poodles. Ladies and gentlemen, come to order. There's no reason to panic. Mayor Rosenbaum, do you deny that the garbage is turning into ferocious garbage creatures who are roaming the town as we speak? No. I mean, yes. I mean... And do you deny that a hideous giant garbage queen is in the dump and maybe about to demolish the town? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, come to order. Come to order. Gosh, no, we won't go. Gosh, no, we won't go. Garbage collectors are on strike, and the garbage is striking back. But why? My mom says that if the garbage isn't cleaned up soon, there's going to be infestations of bugs. Bugs, huh? Hmm. You know how ants and bees work? Well, what if the garbage creatures and Junkyard Joe are like worker ants and bees, and their job is to bring food back to the garbage queen. 
That would explain why they're in town. So we could stop the garbage creatures by stopping their queen. But how? It's made out of steel and stuff. It's made out of steel, and it seems to run on electricity. So we can use water and make it rust. Then zap! Yeah! Tomorrow morning, while Miss Gatto and the rest of the class are picking up garbage, we'll go clean up at the dump. For the ultimate battle of Good versus Goopy! We'll start with picking up the trash in the schoolyard and then work on the town. I really don't want to get dirt under my nails. Come on, everyone! Let's start at the other end of the schoolyard. And you too, Angela. Oh. And now we go to the dump. Uh, Zatman, is that a fire extinguisher? Yeah, an old-fashioned one I found in the garbage. Junkyard Joe isn't here. Let's go get the garbage queen. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a great idea. She's wearing my dad's hat! Stop! We come in peace! Peace! You humans have been starving me for weeks. I need the garbage for food. Here's some food. Too late! Why should I stay in here? When the whole town is practically a garbage dome. <laughs> Bring them to be consumed. Get them by menu. Now, Princess Giant, let's bust her out. Fools! My outer shell is water resistant. Try this on. Like we got them all. Except the queen. I'm getting hungry. That man ate a fire extinguisher in her mouth. Maybe we can rest her out. cleaning my garbage queen. And great news, the garbage strike is over, which means... That you don't have to go out digging through garbage anymore. That's right. And here they come. Junkyard Joe, I pronounce you Sculptor Laureate. I hereby decree that our town shall purchase this remarkable statue of recycled junk so that it may stand proudly at the gates of this dump forever. Dad, I found your fishing hat. Uh, thanks, Mona. But uh, I don't think I need it anymore. Hey, there's my motorcycle helmet. Don't worry. With the strike being over, the garbage creatures are out of a job. There's no such thing as garbage creatures. Uh, you're right, Officer Howcroft. As always, there's no such thing as garbage creatures. Shh. 